Mega 104.3 Arizona's old school, Alex C. As promised, in the studio, the man, the myth, the legend, the very funny, Carlos Mencia. How you, oh, wait, let me turn your mic on. Oh, how we're not doing good if we don't turn your mic on. Oh, we started off on the wrong foot there, buddy boy. Wow, wow, wow. Imagine that, me not turning <laughs> the microphone on. I don't do this for a living, by the way. I just want to make sure I get that out there. Yeah, you do, viejo. Ah, well, you know. <laughs> All right, so we do, we got some shows coming up uh, yes. tonight, 7.30 and 10 o'clock. You're at Stand Up Live. Yes. Tomorrow you've got a 7 and a 9.30 show. Yep. And then you have a matinee <laughs> at 7. Well, it's not really a matinee, but your final show, 7 o'clock on Sunday. Um, this all is, new material, by the way. So even if you came last time I was here, all new material. Yeah, I like all, the, it's always a new show. This is the See for Yourself tour. No, this isn't even that. This right now is is I'm I'm pre- this, I'm preparing for my my new special. So it's all the stuff I'm preparing to put on the brand new special. Okay. Yeah. So now a little bit ago, I told you that uh, we met once or twice, but we're gonna talk about the second time, not the first time. Okay. The second time we met. Uh oh. You were at the Glendale Arena yes. performing live. Yes. You had just got on stage. Yes. Somebody yes. had passed out in the crowd. Yes. Was laying on the ground. Yes. And then there were some very, very polite people that picked this individual up and was walking this individual to the backstage area. Yes. Where the very well-trained fire department was waiting to assist that person. Yeah. And you said, and I quote, because I remember, because I was groggy while I was the one being dragged to the back. <laughs> you said, and I quote, this yes. was nine years ago. Yes. Hey, will you please learn how to handle your liquor? I was hoping you'd pay for your ticket to be able to watch me, not pass out before me. Her, that's, I would say the same thing today. Exactly the same thing. Like, dude, I because it came from a place of, like, how dare you drink so much that you're not going to watch the show? Like, you waited so long for this. What is wrong with you? So here's the deal, everybody, though. I didn't pass out from drinking. I actually had a medical scenario take no, place. No, no. That's what happened. What happened? And to this day, they still can't tell me why I passed out or why I couldn't breathe or why what happened happened, Right. Uh, I believe it was the magic of the aura of me stepping on stage. <laughs> I think that when they said Carlos Mencia, my aura overtook your entire body, and you became like those girls at the Beatles that just passed out. And I'm sorry that I didn't recognize that. Uh, I I have toned that part of me down. That's why you're still breathing right now. Is that what it is? Oh, yeah. Had really? I not toned it down, you would have fainted immediately. <laughs> now, while I'll admit that I did feel a little hot and I was, you know, waving my hands to try and cool myself down, it had nothing to do with the alleged beauty of Carlos Mencia. I'm just going on record with that right now. All right. I just want to make sure I clear that up. There's still Mexicanos from Mexico that have the live chickens in the backyard. Do you ever venture those neighborhoods? I don't even know what you're talking about. Okay. I really don't. And I really don't. Guadalupe. Guadalupe? Yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, I know for a fact. I went to go visit my friends, and there was a rooster running across the street. Like, literally running across the street. And we, like, I wasn't going to slow down, but, like, people came out and were, like, protecting it because they were going to catch it to kill it. Oh, yeah. This is real. I yeah. swear to God, right across the street from the ch- from the, from the the school. In Guadalupe? Yes. Okay, I'm going to go there today. Yes. Oh. I'm telling you, there's chickens. Yeah, like, why are you surprised that... That Mexicanos have chickens in their backyards. Well, why would they have? T- I mean, chickens in the backyards, I get that part, but but why? Why, why are they killing them? To eat them.